My name is Clint Westwood. And you're probably thinking, what did this man do to deserve such a lavish lifestyle? Well, it ain't always lavish. I'm gonna take you through a day in my life, show you the do's and the don'ts of truck ownership. The, the grind never stops, even when I'm off the clock. I just wish I was getting paid, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I'll never fucking understand why people buy rice burners like that. You know, whenever you have to do a job that I have to do right now, like, you need a truck, you know? You can't you can't haul what I need to haul in that little rice burner. Like, especially in, in the winter and stuff, like, I don't know how people get from point A to point B in a fucking car whenever they, they need a truck. Like, it's just essential to everybody, I feel like, and I don't know... I just don't know what goes through people's heads sometimes. It's like voting for Bernie. What the fuck does he think he's doing? Hell no. You ain't passing me. Like, fuck you are, bud. Uh, my home away from home. I wish I had just a fraction of the money back that I spent here over the years. Hey, bud, come here. Here, get one of the bags for me. I can do that. Appreciate it. I hurt my knees a little while back. I ain't been the same since. You know, when I was your age, I was pretty strong, too. Oh, some reason I doubt that. Oh. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, what do you think about people who don't drive trucks? I think it's a chemical imbalance in their brain, um, similar to depression and schizophrenia and things like that. They're just you can't you can't be mad at the people because they just don't know any better. But you really wish they could see you. They could find help some way or another. It's a sickness. It's a disease. Well, you want to pull over and tell me about your truck? Absolutely. So what's your favorite oh. part about... One minute. So you want to... Are you ready now? Or... One more fasty pinch. We're good to go. So what is your favorite part about your truck? Just that uh, it is a truck, you know? Um, whenever you first get the keys to your new truck, it's like, I don't know, it's like renewing your man card. It officially makes you better than everyone else on the road, you know? And you know, it's uh, it brings me great pleasure every day when I drive this truck to pull up next to Honda Civics and, you know, just blow them out of the fucking water and tell them what pussies they are for not owning a truck. It's really rewarding. What are you doing? Hey man, how are you doing? Pretty good, how about you, Bob? Oh, I'm just fine. This motherfucker never returns my tools. So, uh, I got a question. You got any, uh, 36 sockets? Well, I don't know, it depends. Am I ever gonna see the 10 millimeters I'll let you borrow, or? Yeah, I thought I brought them back to you the other uh, day. No, you didn't. Um, I, I said you know, I'm right. on my eight. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back to Lowe's here shortly and get some more, uh, some more 10 mils, so. If either if I if I could get them back, then I might consider letting you borrow more. But see, I sat your tent mills on your windowsill in your house, and I thought I told you that I did. Did I not? No, you did not. Unless unless somebody came in through the night and took them. I'm getting real sick of letting you borrow shit and you not returning it. I'm sorry, Bob. I mean, I, I can pay you. So no, you ain't. I don't want your fucking money. I want my damn tools. Is what I want. I just want a damn 36 socket to fix my damn pump. Well, well, brother, if I didn't need it, then I might let you. I might let you borrow it if I had my own. What the fuck back. you doing with it, buddy? Man, I got shit to do with it. It don't fucking matter what I'm doing with you it. You don't my need shit. a 36 socket to I, fix a fucking concrete crack. I just need it to I, fix. I know what you my need. S10. You need some grilling lessons. That's for damn sure. Cause the last burger I ate of yours is fucking trash and burnt. I think you're full of shit. My well, grilling skills are on point. I think you're a fucking thief. How about I beat your fucking ass right now? You better. Pack a fucking lunch, bud. All right, bud. I'm gonna go fix my own fucking truck. You mean that Hot Wheels car you got sitting in the fucking driveway? Don't even why, talk. Why don't you get a real fucking truck? Listen here, you little shit box motherfucker. Get Look at that rusty piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Bring me my my ten mils back whenever you get a fucking minute to fuck crawl you. off top of your fat fucking wife. Uh, what do you think about your neighbors? They're pretty good people, all in all. You know, I couldn't ask for better neighbors. Uh. You know, we do anything for each other, we're a community. Uh, just great people all around. So what kind of motor you got in it? A big one. How often do you actually use your truck to haul stuff? Well, like, 
I mean, now, I mean, look at this. You, you couldn't fit this in a car. There's no way. I mean, I got a pretty spacious nah, truck. No, you, you couldn't. You couldn't fit that in a car. I mean, you need a truck for that. And you know, every every few years or so, you know, my my aunt and uncle move. You know, I, I mean, I, know, I usually if I need something moved like this, well, it, uh, I just put it in the back seat or you know. Nah, you, wait, no, you don't. Trunk. No, you, hey, shut up. No, you don't. Period. Well, I get 40 miles a gallon in my car. What do you get, pussy? Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. It's really nice to be needed, you know? Because, you know, if you have a car, none of your friends call you very often. If you have a truck, you got friends for life. Hey, Lars, I was just seeing if uh, you need anything moved or, you know, I'm not, I'm not really doing anything right now, so, I mean, it's... Oh, you got, you got Bucky to do it? Oh, okay, man, well, that, that's cool. Uh, well, I ain't got a lot going on today. So. Hey, Brandon, you uh, you still wanting to buy a new refrigerator or something today or soon? Uh, I ain't really got a lot going on today. Uh, oh, they delivered it and installed it. So you don't, you don't need me for anything then. Oh no, that, that's that's okay. Uh, and just give me a call, holler at me, you know, shoot me a text. See ya. So, unfortunately, being a truck owner is not as glamorous as it sounds. You have a lot of loneliness. Your wife will sometimes take the kids, move out of state with their aunts, but it's all okay. It'll all be okay because you have a truck and people will accept you. Keep on trucking everybody. My name's Clint Westwood. So at the end of the day, who the fuck you gonna call when you need a new refrigerator or need a mattress moved? <laughs>